Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is obviously a major unboxing or haul because this month I am celebrating my birthday. So yes, I am a January baby. I am a Capricorn and I like to hoard. And I'd like to say that I'm tagging 2022 as a year of the pen. And I've recently just started my journey with fountain pens. And that all began because of the Hobonichi, which led to a really big, deep rabbit hole. So one thing led to another from Hobonichi. I got really into pens and then eventually fountain pens. So what I have here today are somewhat related to pens and fountain pens and writing and journaling and anything that can help me through this stressful time. So let's begin. So I'd like to start with the things that I already have open. And the first one is something that I got from the Fountain Pen Marketplace in Facebook. And I got this for a really good price. So this is the Kakuno from Pilot. It's in the F nib. And it has the white body with the yellow cap. So it just has your basic pen and a cartridge. I think I removed the cartridge already. But I'm planning to use a converter for this one. This is the fine nib with the winky face. And this is what the body looks like. This is a very good fountain pen for beginners. And I really like the nibs of Japanese because they seem to be finer or smaller than the Western counterparts. So I like writing small. Okay, the next one is a Noodler's Ink. I got this for a lower price than this one as I got this from the marketplace of Facebook. So I want to do a swatch test today, but hopefully soon. And this is what the bottle looks like. So I believe this is good for legal documents. Yep, and this is really good for your documents. So I got this together from the marketplace. So thank you, Marla. Next is this one, and I got this from Lamy, and I already unboxed it. I don't know if you can see it, but I got here two nibs in the black steel. The first one is EF, which is extra fine nib, and the other one is a left-handed nib. So I'm not sure if other brands have left-handed nibs, but I saw this in Lazada, and I immediately got it. This is what the EF nib looks like. And this one, this one is the left hand nib. So actually, I'm not a very picky writer. Um, I've grown accustomed to using right-handed tools and that included pens and fountain pens. So I just wanted to give this a try and since it's already in the market, might as well just use it. So the items that I will share with you, I will link them down below as they are all available in Lazada. Except for the first two because I got this from the marketplace but I believe a lot of sellers also have this. And the stores where I got most of my items from, I believe will also have those things. Let's start opening packages. Ta -da. 
I don't know guys what's inside. So I'm just opening randomly these packages. I really don't know which ones are which. But so we have here invoices. So this item is from Tannery Manila. So they are a local leather manufacturer or artisan. And this isn't the first time that I bought from them. I actually have bags and small leather goods from them. And they're pretty affordable given the quality of leather. So the first one that I got is this one. It's a leather pen case, a pen holder. The color is in navy blue. So, we have here a pen pen holder. And I hope to put all my fountain pens in this in this holder. So, it looks it's pretty simple. Um, I just noticed that the stitching isn't even but let's see I just hope that it will fit most of my fountain pens so that's the first one next item Not sure what this is, but let's see what twist B this is, and it's the echo. It's not just the echo, guys, it's the Rose gold and white resin. So I'm really into rose gold. And this is what it looks like. It's the Twisby Echo RG Rose Gold. It's made in Taiwan. It's a Taiwanese brand. And it has the white body with the rose gold trim. And it has this beautiful nib, also in rose gold. I believe it's rose gold plated. And yes, this is the EF or the extra fine nib. So, because I'm a lefty, I don't want to put a lot of ink down on the paper because it takes time for it to dry. And as a left-handed person, I almost always smudge everything that I write so I like EF I like writing small as mentioned and Asian EF nibs are just perfect for me so, this is the Twisby Eco Rose Gold the white body using fountain pens or Twisby in particular they have a guide here that you can use, so just follow the green, follow the green, avoid the red. Alright. And you also have here a wrench if you need to remove or to disassemble your pen. So you can completely disassemble this for easy cleaning. And you also have here this silicone grease to help lubricate your mechanism for the fountain pen. Alright. So that's rose gold, guys. Can you comment down below if you if you're also a fan of rose gold pens? I know I am. 
So I also noticed that your logo is also rose gold. So just take note, I have two pens already. Next is this one. By the way guys, this is not sponsored. I bought everything with my own money. And yes, this is for my birthday. The next one is a platinum converter and if you are a user of platinum pens, um, their introductory or entry-level pens really don't have converters with them so you just have to purchase them separately. And I plan to use this in one of my preppy or the pre-font. So I plan to use it here so that I can use my bottled inks for my platinum pens. So let's open. So it's just your standard silver silver converter. I believe they also have gold. So it depends on the finish of your pen if you have it in gold or in silver. So this will work perfectly with my existing platinum pens. Next one, kind of, this is kind of chunky. It's another twisty, guys. <laughs> so So first, I have here the Pilot Con 40, so this is their cartridge converter. And this works perfectly with Kakuno, so I plan to put it here, as well as the Prera, I believe. So when you buy your converters, make sure that it's compatible with the pen that you have. It's very easy to look it up with Google or just go to their website just to be sure. So. These are very handy. And this one, just to compare the packaging, this is another Twisty. And this is what I got. It's the vacuum cleaning. So guys, just a word of this company, Twisby is made in Taiwan, so it's a Taiwanese brand. And I believe that they're the next best, next level pens, if you get what I'm saying. So if the Kakuno is a very good beginner pen, or a starter pen, or pen for students, then an, a level up in your fountain pen career would be a Twisby. So it's not as expensive as those um, Sailor Pro Gears or Pelicans or even Montblancs but they're not as cheap as the Kakuno so I think this is a very good step up or a level up pen for you guys and this particular pen uses a vacuum system in terms of filling up the body with ink 
And you also have here the instruction on how to fill your vac mini. So this is the mini. So, total pen count is three, and I'm not stopping there. Let's open this one. I have a sample ink. And this is from Vinta. It's called Mascara. So I've never had these ink vials before. It's my first time. Thank you so much. Alright, so next set of items I got is, I think this is another converter. This is the Con 70. So this is the bigger count, bigger converter. And comparing it side by side with the converter 40, it looks like this. So this one, of course, holds a lot more ink than this one. So the plunger. Blender style. Let's see, I think this piston. I think this is piston fill as opposed to the twisty thing. But let's see. It's my first time to try a Con Seventy from Pilot. Next is this pen. This is a rather. This is a China brand. I think it's called Mingo. And this is a rather cheap pen, almost disposable kind. And what I plan to do is use this for shimmer inks or those that are iron gall. And so that when so that if something happens to the pen or the parts because of the shimmery properties or because of the iron gall properties, then it won't hurt as much. So this is like a sacrificial pen of sorts. But I hope this will write well. There are some good reviews for this product. So this is the fine nib. Maybe I should have gotten a medium nib for shimmers, but I really don't have a lot of shimmer inks. So right off the bat, this is the barrel. And if you notice guys, I really like demonstrator or transparent pens because I really like seeing the inks um, in my pens. So I like the demonstrator, I like the, and I also like the Kakuno transparent pens. So this is and the last one is this one. It's an Iron Gall ink by Roro Ernst Klingner. So this is a German ink company. And this is the color Salix. So this is like a blue-black type of ink. And yep, I can't wait to try this. I'll, I hope to do a future video on this ink. I won't open this right now. And last but certainly not the least is this package. 
I hope you're still with me, guys. <laughs> and as mentioned, everything that I bought, including the prices, will be linked down below. And the shops where I got them in Lazada, they also have their own standalone store. So feel free to check out their webpage, their website. And I believe they also do international shipping. But expect the least because of what's happening in the world. This is the last. I'm really happy that the goods that I got came in intact and in good condition and they were packaged really well. But unpacking them is really hard. <laughs> Their packing game is solid. Okay guys, so I had to stop filming that one. I was running out of memory and I'm only recording using my iPhone. So I just skipped ahead and just took out the strong, strong bubble wrap on this pen. So it's another Twisby guys. So I'm on a Twisby horde mode. So this pen from Twisby is... Diamond. And yes, it's another rose gold fountain pen. So you have it here, it's the 580 RG Rose Gold 2, so it's the second iteration of the model. It's a piston filling fountain pen, and I have it. Once again, in the extra fine nib. So let's open this together. This is it, guys. This is the Twisby Diamond 580 RG2 in rose gold. And I think this is smoke. And I love it. The barrel is faceted like a diamond, hence, hence the model. And this is also a screw cap. And I will show you the fine or the extra fine nib. It's also plated in rose gold. I love it. I love it. I love rose gold, guys. I'm hoarding all the Twisby Rose Golds. And piston, piston filling. And this one I know you can detach so you can properly clean this or change the nib if you want. So that's what I really like about Twisby pens is that they are very easy to maintain. Very easy to clean. Because you can also see the stain, so you know how much more effort you need to put in cleaning the pen. So I love it. There you go, guys. This is the last Twisby pen in my haul. But not the last pen, guys. Come on. Are you still with me in my pen count? So I currently have... So guys, I currently have one, two, three, four, five pens. Do I need this much pen in my life? No, but they certainly are a joy to look at. They spark joy. I love them all. I believe I will use them. Or if not, I can give it as a gift. It's not that expensive to part ways with. And you really can't go wrong with these. But I have one last unboxing 
for you guys because it's my birthday. And this is the final item that I will be unboxing today. And yes, I went to Mont Blanc. And yes, I got myself something from Mont Blanc. Yes. And just a little story time for you guys. When I was browsing at the Mont Blanc in Rustans, Makati, they were on sale, guys. They were having an end of season sale. And I asked the sales associate when their sale will end. And he said, so guys, look for Joseph. Joseph is the one who helped me. Joseph said that the items that are on sale are on sale un until supplies last. But I also saw this on sale and I just couldn't resist getting it for myself. So let's unbox it. And this is the case it came with. And this is the service guide. And we have here the guarantee. So I got this in Mont Blanc, Rustans, Makati, Philippines. And yes, I bought it before New Year. Because I don't wanna I don't wanna miss out on buying this pen. And what I got is a Bonheur Bonheur Weekend. So it's the white resin pen with the blue and white stripe for the cap. And I really like that. It fits nicely on my hands because I have Asian lady hands. <laughs> so it fits perfectly and it I don't need to have the pen posted to write comfortably but if you have rather big hands um, I don't think that it would be comfortable for you guys so the reason why I don't have the pen with me is because I had it brought back to the store to have the nib exchange so if you bought from the Mont Blanc boutique and if you're not really happy with the nib size that you got in my case I got it in medium and I find the ink too flowy or too wet and it really made smudges or it, I really had a hard time managing my pen and I just kept smudging it because there was so much ink using the medium nib so what I did was that I went to the Mont Blanc boutique I went back I went back to Joseph so look for him and I had the nib exchange for EF. However, the nib replacements are done in Singapore, at least for Southeast Asia. So I, I may have to wait three to four months before I can get it back. But that's okay because I know I'm, I really will enjoy the extra fine nib. And if you went to Rustans Makati, they have an ink bar where you can test all the nib sizes so you can already test right then and there the nib that you want so unfortunately for the pens that were on sale whatever is available is what you'll get so there's no option for you right then and there to change the nib to your favorite size so just make sure that the pen is still in relatively good and new brand new condition and as much as possible, make sure that the nib, the old nib, is in perfectly good condition. I mean, no scratches and make sure that there are no traces of ink if you've used that. So for my case, what I did is that I flushed the pen immediately after realizing that I need to have the nib replaced to EF. So anyway, I will wait for that. So if you're still with me, thank you so much guys for staying with me and, and joining me as I unbox my birthday gifts for this year. And yes, my pen game is kind of strong this year. And I think I have pen piece for now. But you really can't say if there's a good deal out there, if there's a new model that's released. Uh, I might be tempted to buy, but for now, I'm really enjoying the pens that I got for my birthday. So, alright. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy watching these types of videos, 
please consider subscribing and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys!